Elon Musk's Starlink internet helps destroy Russian tanks. Spotty connectivity isn't going to jeopardize Ukraine's drone attacks. Well, well, they love they love the Starlink stuff in Ukraine. They just yeah, love the most it. Downloaded app. They're just on social media, <laughs> bragging about it. They're like, look at all of them. Look at us. We got the Starlink, and uh, Elon has been uh, generous in sending that equipment over there. Keep those communications up and running. It's a nice uh, test bed as well for Starlink. You saying there's something in it for uh, Elon over there? I think so, yeah. Ukraine is using thousands in the area of thousands of terminals with new shipments arriving every other day. It's from Fedorov. He's the technology guy in Ukraine. He's all over Twitter. You think it's a test bed for um, military operations where communications could be wiped out and all of a sudden uh, the <laughs> cost of equipment for like satellite phones and stuff is, is uh, cost prohibitive. And then, and then they're like, well, let's just get our own. Uh, terminals and then everything stays connected including our drones and then all of a sudden Elon Musk sells it to the military is that what you're telling me Will is that what you just said that's like thousands of levels deeper than I thought it oh, would be oh, but, okay. Uh, oh, okay yeah I was just thinking they could provide internet mm. for free for mm. people mm. <laughs> that don't have internet or their towers down that's in an, it in an <laughs> sure bud in an attempt to prepare for such a situation Ukraine's vice prime minister Mikhailo Fedorov reached out to Musk via Twitter on February 26th. Well, we remember that was a big tweet. Uh, the Times of London has now reported that an elite unit of Ukrainian drone pilots is relying on the Starlink service to carry out its missions. The group is called Aero, Aeroros, Aeroros Vid, Vidka. Aeroros Vidka. What is this link? Go Did ahead. Well, you, you take a shot at that name. Go ahead. Have some uh, fun with it. Herrero Zvitska. Yeah! They really like the Z and the V. Let me tell you something, man. They These people, they don't give you enough credit, Well, Like, the old you, you wouldn't tackle that. The new you, you just take it. Like, it's a pitch coming in 100 miles an hour, and you just you just you look at that pitch, that baseball, and you just knock it straight out of the park. Yeah, I'll take it. You just you go, I'm not intimidated by this ball right here. Wham! Mm -hmm. And you hear the crack of the wood on the ball. Yeah. And then... And then you just trot around the bases because it's a home run. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you take your time so everyone can see. Yeah. So... Uh, it's currently conducting about 300 missions a day, that group. Uh, these range from reconnaissance operations to dropping anti-tank grenades. Anti-tank grenades. Imagine the drone is just dropping grenades from up there. Sheesh. High-priority Russian targets at night. Anyway, they, you, they, this is the quote from that group. We use Starlink equipment and connect the drone team with our artillery team. If we use a drone with thermal vision at night, the drone must connect through Starlink to the artillery guy and create target acquisition. So Elon's in on it, man. Elon's in there. Yeah. I mean, congrats. It seems like congrats. a good collab. Oh, my God, Will. <laughs> Are you calling a military uh, relationship a collab? I kind of did. Oh, 